gets away from sleeping. All of us have to do it. So um, you want to make sure you sleep well, you sleep efficiently, and you have good quality sleep. Sleep is so critically important for every aspect of physiological and psychological functioning. Sleep is the center of life. Sleep is the anchor on which everything else we do rests. So you've got to understand it and appreciate it and respect it. If you have a cold, you grab medicine from the cabinet. If it continues, you may go see a doctor. If you are looking to lose weight, you see a dietitian or nutritionist to help you manage or achieve your goal. People visit physical therapists to help get their bodies recover after an injury. Throughout the healthcare system, there are educated professionals to help you with any disease, disorder, ailment, or illness that you may suffer from. But what about our sleep? Where do we go when we can't sleep well or don't feel refreshed after a full night's sleep? Where do we go when our legs shake so badly at night that we can't stay asleep? Or we feel drowsy throughout the day? Or someone in the house has a snoring issue that keeps him or her awake at night? Who are the professionals that can help us get our best sleep? The medical field has multiple professions that are dedicated to helping resolve sleep disorders and help you get healthy sleep. From physicians to technicians to respiratory therapists to research scientists, the entire sleep medicine team is there to help. Here are some of those amazing team members sharing why they got into sleep medicine. Sleep is one of those areas in which it is a continuous growth. This field is relatively new, and so there's a wealth of opportunities in whether it's treating patients, whether it's doing a research. Um, I think sleep is important. That's why I've dedicated, you know, a year of fellowship and hopefully the rest of my career to do this because I think everybody needs to sleep better. A uh, study of sleep is important uh, because really it's a, a vital function of our body. It's something that touches uh, every single uh, patient that we see uh, and uh, is a really important to function optimally in life. I came into sleep as a, a, a very ambitious um, scientist wanting to incorporate machine learning and artificial intelligence in sleep. And I wanted to be able to have a different angle, one that really focuses on health disparities. This is why you're doing this. It's one is to make people aware of the importance of sleep and the detrimental effects of a lack of sleep, what we call sleep deficiency. But at the same time, it is something we can do something about. One of my mentors used to say, it is time that sleep becomes the fifth vital sign. Sleep's been really integral in developing my career. I've, my initial background was in internal medicine and psychiatry, and then I did a sleep fellowship because it's really the, the, one of the few areas that looks at a person holistically. And it's really helped me become a better, more well-rounded physician, and it's also opened up a number of opportunities to uh, research and, uh, and teaching. The, the sleep patients are the ones I get the, the, the Christmas cards from. You know, if you take somebody who uh, every day of their life they're affected by uh, difficulty sleeping or difficulties feeling alert, it affects every corner of their life and of their quality of life. They don't feel well, they can't concentrate well, they may have downstream diseases. It affects not just them but their family members and their relationships and their physical activities. And when you can take an individual like that and you can uh, hone in on a, you know, an accurate diagnosis and you can provide a therapy that's effective, you see them back and they're very happy. They're very happy and, they, and I'll have people come back and tell me, you know, this changed my life. Um, it's one of the special things about sleep medicine that I really enjoy. You may think you know all the pillars of health. Most would say diet and exercise. Did you know there's a third pillar? Sleep. While many of us wouldn't go longer than a day without eating and weeks without moving, many go months or years not treating sleep disorders simply because they don't realize it is a significant issue that can impact their entire life. The American Academy of Sleep Medicine hosts an annual contest for high school students around the world to share why it is important that their peers get enough sleep. Here is this year's winner explaining the importance of sleep. Joe finds adequate sleep is an important pillar to a healthy lifestyle along with nutrition and exercise. As a result, Joe takes corrective action. 
His action plan includes getting 8 to 10 hours of sleep daily, a regular exercise schedule, avoiding caffeine and electronics before going to sleep. Joe gets started with this plan right away. As a result, Joe has more energy, increased memory, higher grades, better athletic performances, and he makes good decisions. Sleep is powerful. Wow! Sleep is an important pillar of health, and we should all make sure we get enough quality sleep each night. Healthy sleep helps us lead healthier, fuller lives. For those having trouble getting enough quality sleep, there are dedicated professionals to whom you can turn for help. You've met some of these members of the sleep team who shared what it is like to work in sleep medicine and research. Learn more about careers in sleep medicine from the American Academy of Sleep Medicine. To discover the possibilities of a career in sleep, visit aasm.org slash STEM.